Welcome back to Tanya's Yoga Blog. Today we're going to work on lunges. In this video blog titled Change Your Life with Yoga. So today I'm going to demonstrate several ways to get into a lunge and several different levels. One way to get into a lunge is from your knees. Now it may be kind of tough to get your thigh into your chest, so if you need to bring it around, feel free to do so. And then take your hand on the opposite side. This is a lunge. We want to stretch out the groin, so we want to be sure we scoot the foot forward enough in order to be able to feel that stretch. Keep the chest lifted as high as possible. If you feel as though you want a deeper stretch, you can take your hands onto your leg. Or you can lift your arms into the air. Always make sure that you're stretching evenly and that you're working out evenly. So whatever you do on one side, be sure to do on the other. Hands on the mat, palms to the leg, or arms in the air. That's one way to get a stretch in. Another way is to start from our downward dog. So you would come into your downward dog, take a couple of breaths, and then for this one, we're going to lift our left leg a little bit, and then we're going to bring it in with a bent knee all the way through, planting it near or past your fingers. You can go back down onto your knee if you like, or you can keep the leg extended. If the leg is extended, make sure you're creating nice tension, keeping the leg as straight as possible, lifting the knee away from the mat. And again, your options are keep the fingers in the mat or the palms in the mat. You can lift or arms in the air. Other side, planting the right foot, taking a couple breaths here. Beautiful, come back onto your knees or into your downward dog. Take a breath. And if you're not on your knees already, sink your hip, hips back, coming in to child's pose. Beautiful work, everyone. Thank you for joining me again. I'll see you in a little bit and we'll learn another move or two.